what is up everybody my name is Corey Marie and I'm back at it again with another video if you guys are new here I make lifestyle college and hair related videos so if you are interested in any of those please be sure to subscribe today I'm going to be taking you guys through the evolution of my resume through freshman year of college to now senior year of college and I'm ultimately going to be showing you guys the resume that got me into Nike so without further ado, let's just jump right in. Okay, so let me make room for my freshman year resume. During my freshman year, I was fresh into college. I really didn't have anything to put on my resume. Nothing. I was told to use however much high school experience I felt needed. So that's what I did. As you can see, I have my home address and my campus address, which I both covered up. And then I have my education, which is University of Michigan. And then I have my high school on there as well. I was only a first semester freshman when I made this resume. And it was just was nothing on here. But don't be ashamed ashamed of that if you're a first semester freshman don't be ashamed of there not being that much on your resume don't be afraid to share any high school experiences that you think will kind of open a door for you on the collegiate level with that being said i added my work experience as a lifeguard on here i was a lifeguard for four years before i finally retired my red shorts y'all and so i did not hold back on putting it on my resume because that's work experience that was my first encounter with customer service and it was actually one of the things that helped me get into Nike. and then i go into my volunteer experience I start off with listing what I did at University of Michigan thus far in regard to volunteering. I was in a program that took us to the Botanical Gardens at the University of Michigan and we were able to help out for the day with the garden. So I used that to my advantage, threw that on my resume, bada bing, bada boom, done. As far as my volunteer experience for high school, I had that from my common application. I just took it, put it on here and made it look pretty. So going on to my leadership experience, just to show people or companies that I had a little bit of experience in leadership positions, I had to reach back into my high school experience. Sorry if the lighting changes because I'm using sunlight, so you know that fluctuates up and down, so yeah. Y'all might see experience as a leader at the University of Michigan. That wasn't necessarily leadership experience. Even though I was a first semester freshman, I kind of tried to add a few things that I considered to be leadership experience, even though they weren't your typical leadership positions. So any organization that I was in that I felt like I was strengthening my leadership skills in, I made sure that I put that. And then I went into my high school and I added that I was on student council, peer mentor. I just took those from my college applications, basically. And then I went Went on to my skills now coming into college i was not very skilled with much of anything now if any of you are coming in with zero ap credit zero experience it's okay don't be intimidated you know because you'll be getting that experience in college so don't worry the only thing that i was proficient in was microsoft word literally that's it not even excel now the reason why i was able to put coding languages on here is because of a summer program through university of michigan that i participated in the summer before i started my freshman year we actually took a coding class that introduced us to matlab and c plus plus that's the reason why i was able to put that on there again do not feel pressured to have to know any advanced skills it's just your freshman year it's just not realistic i mean if you are a superstar go you you know what i'm saying more power to you but i'm just speaking for the ones who come in with little to nothing on their resume in regard to skills don't let that steer you away from applying to internships or research positions or anything my last skill is a strong chemistry background i took honors chem and ap chemistry in high school i excelled in both of those subjects coming in a college I just really held on to my chemistry background and I just made it a foundation for what I wanted to do in college okay so let's move into resume number two this is sophomore year as you can see the format of my resume changed and this was not me who did this if it had been my way the resume would have stayed the same exact way <laughs> and it would have still been trash this program called mstem gave me a mentor who was able to help me get my resume up to par where i would actually be able to score internships what we did is we changed the whole layout like literally i sent my resume to her she sent it back and i had this layout boom i didn't do any of that but shout out to her she literally was the reason why my resume looks like this but one of my tips to you guys is to get a mentor get somebody who is able to review your resume let you know what sucks let you know what's good and basically change any formatting issues that you might have and make it look good. You want recruiters and other people to look at your resume and be like, man, okay, she got it going on. You want them to easily be able to find what they're looking for, but you also want it to appeal to the eye. So the first line I started out was just my name. Then I went into my email, phone number, address, all of that contact information though, that so that they know where to find me. And then I move into the education. So now I'm going into what I'm studying, which is material science and engineering. I then add my GPA 
and I bold it so that recruiters are able to find it and easily find it because I want them to see that. I want them to see that 3.5. I want them to locate it. <laughs> so that's why I put it in bold. And then I went into my honors and awards. What used to be what I considered my leadership positions in my freshman year resume was now included in my awards section. So things started shifting and I started to really understand where things were supposed to go. Basically, that's just a list of scholarships. And then I went into my skills. As you can see, I still got that Microsoft on there, but this time it says Microsoft Office. So I became more well-rounded in Microsoft Office as a whole. I took an intro to coding class. So I had solidified experience in MATLAB and C++. And I also took another engineering class. So I was decent in CAD. I made YouTube videos. So I said iMovie. If you're a YouTuber, don't be afraid to throw in YouTube related skills on there because recruiters do pay attention to that. Then I kept that strong chemistry background. And I also said strong communication and customer service skills. I had a little bit of study abroad experience under my belt. In between my freshman and sophomore year, I studied abroad twice. So I added those experiences on there. So I still got that same old work experience, okay? I still was working at the pool. Nothing changed. Kept that on there, but just organized it a little bit better. So my campus involvement increased. So as y'all can see, I joined Michigan Material Society. I joined the National Society of Black Engineers. I became more involved in lead scholars. And then I also took up a research position. I had all of these things on my plate and I was only a sophomore. I hit the ground running sophomore year. I knew what I wanted to do. I joined these organizations second semester of freshman year. I set my sights on some leadership positions that I wanted to get involved in. And I went after it and I got it. So let's move into junior year. As y'all can see with this new resume, it's broken into different sections than what was on my first resume so now we have education work experience and campus involvement and also not only was i in material science and engineering at this time with the focus on polymers i also had declared a minor which was in crime and justice education remains the same skills kind of remain the same i haven't really updated that area gpa went up so that means my price is going up pay attention to my format the lines between the content in my resume started to decrease it's only single space now because i have a lot more experience at this point i've had two research positions and i've also had an intern so that internship I did between my sophomore and junior year of college and it was my very first internship. I made sure to put clear, concise bullet points of what I did during my time at my internship. All of my bullet points, I focused on making them key speaking points for things that I could talk about in an interview with recruiters. We can move into the campus involvement. So now I'm getting into more sophisticated roles. I joined a regional position within the National Society of Black Engineers. I also didn't forget to list my previous experience and Nesby just to show them how consistent and devoted to my chapter I was or I am because I'm still in that chapter I'm still on the regional board and I had finally stepped up into a leadership for the Michigan Materials Society so they could see that that as well this was actually the resume that got me into Nike this one right here I'm gonna let y'all get a good look at it this was updated in December of 2019. I hadn't updated my skills in a minute, but once I did, I had a plethora of skills that I was able to add that just made my resume that much stronger. As y'all can see in my senior year, resume is still looking the same. The format has not changed. It's just content has been added to my resume. Really the only thing that has been changed on here is my GPA. And then going into my work experience, I interned with Nike the past summer. So I have to add that to my resume. And I also added one more leadership position, which is a leadership position I'm currently in right now. Right now. We'll see where that resume takes me, where I land a full-time job at. If you are interested in learning where I go to work full-time as a material science engineer coming fresh out of college, be sure to hit that subscribe button right down below. It looks like this, okay? So if you want to click it, Okay, it looks like this. So make sure you click it right now. As of right now, I post every Sunday and Wednesday at 5 p.m. But I will let y'all know if that changes because school is picking up a little bit. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate the love and support. And I will see y'all in the next video. All right, God bless y'all. Peace. I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors. Pay for everything on my plate. Sometimes I'd even get the steak. Cause I got it like that. Always have my own bag. Never needed no man to rely.